morning everyone it's great to be back this morning uh something to do uh i did say i do um a live video on johnny's cottage doing uh, uh, some some cooking so what i'm doing this morning for you i already have a dish done and i'll show you that once i have this one ready so what i did was i have the this the, the beef and i i put on half at first and i have it ready for to show you the finished product that's i show you that when i have this one ready and then i have to be so there's, there's 600 grams worth of um of of, uh, of beef in that and the other one was 600 grams as well so that was about 500 grams so i'm i'm I, i'm doing this for the purpose of um of showing you the, the the product done and we're preparing it so yes that's the meat anyway i have that ready here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just pop this in here to this little little um little uh, pot here like that okay so that's the first thing i do and just put that there aside immediately now so here i have I have the carrots done. I have four carrots done. So you can imagine I just did four for the other one. The very same amount went into the other one as going into this one. So when I have the whole lot done, then I put it all together. And if I don't use it, I will freeze some of it as well. So I have four carrots just to let you know for this one and the 600 grams of, uh, of, of, of meat. Uh, so I have four carrots. So I'm going to chop them. I have two parsnips. Now, they say long ago that my, my mother saw me say, don't put too many parsnips in it because they're a bit sweet. So, and then of course the carrots are a little bit sweet as well. Then I have a little bit of uh, of celery. Celery is brilliant for, for making for making stew and making soup. Uh, again, I've left this on because this is lovely. This, this is like, uh, it's like, just chop that up and it will look lovely inside the soup as well. No point in wasting it. And then I have one and a half onions, and I'll tell you why I have one and a half onion now in a minute. Chop that up as well. I'll do it for you now in a second. If you see an onion like this, with a little bit of brown going along here, I'd never use it. I'd always throw away that onion for something that I was told when I was a child. Uh, get rid of the onion. Uh, and uh, so I don't, that's why I left that there to show you. So I wouldn't use that. Again, what I have, I have a few potatoes as well. I, I, I peeled a few potatoes. That thickens the soup as well. That's very good. They're, they're very good as well for thickening the soup. And I always put in the old fashioned oxo cube. So I get my little bowl here. I'll just show, show you how to do. I put in the, I'm just already after doing the other one there. So I put in the oxo cube in there. And I also have a, uh, one of these uh, vegetable cubes or it can be a beef cube it can be a chicken cube it doesn't matter what it is one of these these stock cubes they're absolutely brilliant for making the stock for to make the to make the soup so i'll be using those as well and uh, then i also use a little bit of again old-fashioned um oatmeal my mom used to always put a bit of oatmeal to thicken it and then of course she said it's very good for you so i put about probably a good good tablespoon full maybe a tablespoon and a half full in, 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 into the soup as well. Basically anything at all that you have. Now when I went looking this morning, I thought I had a lot more vegetables, which I, which I didn't have. Of course, I forgot. I'll always, I'll, I, I put my herbs in. I have a bit of rosemary, I'm going to stick it in. I have some thyme here, which I'm going to stick in. And that's the worst for wear, God help us. That's the bit of parsley I've left over because uh, I used an awful lot of it over Christmas. But again, I won't waste any of that. I'll put that into it as well this morning. So uh, anyway, I'm going to start here to get this on for you and um, just, just, to get, just to get it going. And so I just chop these all kind of uh, like we say, I, I rather was small, I have to be honest about it. I hope you can see me, somebody, I, I can, I hope I can, you can see me, but I, I think you can. Uh, again, look just like this, like that. And put them in here. I already washed these this morning um, when, when I did them. Again, the onion will say, for instance, look, I didn't be too particular about it. Uh, the onion makes it as well. Now, I could have put a bit of garlic in it, but I did it for the stew, not, not this morning. Actually, I have a little bit there. I might put a tiny little bit in this one. I didn't put it in the other one. Again, it's all a matter of choice, isn't it? So, yes, this is the onion. Uh, again, I'll chop that up there. And then... This is the celery, kind of a quick way to do it is put the tree together like that, like that, okay. And again, don't waste any of it because 
this part is as, is as important as the as, as, as the celery itself, the stems of it. And the same with the potatoes and everything like that. Um, before we, we'd be cutting up the outsides, I don't do that anymore because all the, the, the healthy bits are on the outsides as well, once they're clean. Uh, again, I'll just do two carrots together here and uh, like that. Very, very simple. And once you have this done and put it into the pot, you could say the dinner is cooked because everything is inside that. Now I've got it from after cooker here behind me because I already have one done. And I'll show you that in a minute. So uh, yes, I'm doing this here now. I just want to get this into the pot to show you. As I said, there's four carrots, two parsnips, and if you want to, if you want to batch, if you want to do a good bit of it together, double everything in size, and uh, and, and freeze it because it's uh, especially today. We're supposed to be minus seven, between five and seven degrees here tonight in Ireland for the people that are looking in America that were, that were on to me last night. So uh, it's going to be my, in that, I don't think down here in Kerry, but in parts of Ireland tonight it's going to be minus between five and seven degrees. So very, very cold. So nothing better than a, a nice pot of stew. Okay, so this is the parsnip. We're nearly there now, guys. Um, as I said, keep them kind of all near the same because uh, they'll all cook together then at the same time there will be some of them hard and some of them soft so try and keep them all together uh, again the potatoes i just give them a little a little chop like that because they, they they're um they make nice and thick as well a lot of people put in the potatoes i normally would put in the potatoes um maybe after a half an hour but today i'm just putting the whole lot in together as you can see uh just for for to make it fine and quick for you and uh, again, I will put this onion here and I'll stick this on as well. And I have a little bit of garlic there and I'm going to stick that a tiny bit in just to see what the flavour of this is. When I have this done, I'm going to put the two together, all into one pot. And as I said, if we don't use it, we will, I, will, I, will, I will freeze it and I'll have that made again for when I want to, when I, when I want to have a stew. Again, if when you see little pieces like this, take them off, get rid of them. And again, that's it. Okay. Now, I have a tiny bit of garlic here, as you can see. I have a little yolk here that I got for, for to, to, to do the garlic. It's, a, it's like this, just to, like that. And again, I'll stick that in here. A tiny little bit, a tiny little bit. I didn't put it into the other one. Now, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring this over there again. A little um, just because I'm going to hang it in. and again, all in here, it's your pot. And uh, not if I, I, I better not forget to put in the herbs, throw in a few herbs into it as well. And then I'll get my 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 um, my stock, put it in, put in a bit of pepper and salt, and put it on. And you know, something I'll show you now in a few minutes what the, the, the end product is. When I, when I, because I, I already have it cooked. So again, I'll just catch a bit of this. Before I be very, very um, precise about how I put this in, just a little bit like that, tear it in like that, and put it in, and a small bit of rosemary as well. Just a little bit, just for, for taste. Look, the smell of the herbs are absolutely beautiful. Um, and they do make the dish, no matter what you say, they're, they're, they're absolutely, they make a great flavor. It depends on what you like. So yeah, again, as I said, a little bit like that. And um, now these are my two cubes here. So they're the old fashioned OXO cube, I love them. Um, I use them nearly in everything. Uh, so uh, just crush it like this. Just put your fingers like this inside that. Won't do what I told it, tell it, no, no, it's a bit hard. Um, so yeah, and then I get my um, my water behind me here, and I fill up the I fill this up so there's about there's a good pint and a half of stock in there, and you'll need that because you want to make a nice pot of stew, and if you want to add more water to it, or even another um, if you think it's not strong enough, the, the oxo cube, you can add it. Again, I have the oatmeal here, 
uh, the old fashioned oatmeal, I'm going to put that in as well because that thickens it and as my mother and my grandmother used to say, great nourishment in that as well. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's what I have. And of course, a little bit of pepper and a small little bit of salt because there'd, there'd be a lot of salt in the cubes as well. So I wouldn't put too much salt in it. We can always add that out afterwards. And again, just put this in here like, I hope now I'm, I can be seen here. Um, again, uh, put that in here, in here like this. And if there isn't enough, I can put more in in a minute. Give it a good old stir like that. Yeah, I could do with another little drop of water, I think. So I put another little drop of water into it like that. And that's the dish ready for to put on the cooker for, for our dinner. So a fine, warm, healthy stew of fresh vegetables and everything that's in it is good. And you know when we make something at home, we know exactly what goes into it. That's what I love. So again, I have that one on and I'm going to show you now the one I'm already after cooking. Um, I'm going to put that on there. It's probably too big for this brand. Now, this is the finished product here. Again, I don't know if you can see this, but what I will do is, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure you see it. Now, I already have this one cooked since this one, since, since while it was on, you know. I put this on about, about nine, about before nine. Now, again, I have the very same vegetables that you see, that you saw me getting ready there. I have the very same ones in here. And I just want to show you what it looks like with the steam coming out of it. And the smell is absolutely beautiful. Oh my God, I do love the smell. As I said, now that to me is, that is a fine, healthy, healthy meal this morning. This very, very cold morning. And even for children or for anybody, um, coming in from school you couldn't give them better than this and for all our friends in america and everywhere they're watching people that ask me to do stuff if you can see that there now i hope you can um i hope you can um it smells delicious and um uh, it as i said it's very very healthy now i be miriam is coming back to miriam is doing a dish i think she said on thursday i don't know what Mira's doing we just do our own thing and uh, we're trying to figure out how we can share at the computer. I'm walking off my phone this morning, uh, my, my, my phone, uh, because I'm here on my own. And uh, so we might do something maybe next week together because we can share the screen apparently, something we learn new every day. And uh, on f I'm back on either Friday or Saturday, I will let you know. More than likely to be Friday because I think maybe everybody might be staying in bed Saturday morning. Um, I, I, I do um, homemade brown bread. That's what I'm doing uh, uh, the next day because a couple of people have asked me uh, to make something that, they, that they, they'd they like to see. So that's what I'm doing on, on the, the next day. I'll do homemade brown bread. I might do a few scones as well just to throw them in because it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I hope you like that. And um, I can't see anybody on the phone at the moment, lads, and I'm, I don't know who's on, but thank you very much for watching. And I will be back again. Now, if you think the time suits you, let me know, uh, or what time would, because I do know that in America, there it, it must be about four o'clock in the morning now, because I was on yesterday evening around five, saying I'd come on today. And uh, a few people, a good few, about five people from America, that I just knew one or two of them, and they're sharing it over. So they, they're delighted. And uh, I know that they won't see it this morning. But whatever suits you will suit us, really, because um, I see a lot of people going live there around 2 o'clock as well, uh, if that might suit you. Or I love to do everything in the morning, of course. I'm one of the morning people, and I like to get everything done in the morning. So, yeah, come here. Until I see you all, until Miriam sees you, and from Anna, on behalf of Anna, Miriam and myself, thank you very much. And it's great to be connected because we don't want to... Um, we, we, we don't want just to leave the Jarvis Cottage because there's a lockdown at the moment and we genuinely can't meet up. But look, we, there, there's, you know, it's like everything else in life. There's always a way around everything. So this is my way of connecting with you and Miriam as well. And you never know, we might be able to start down with something once this, um, once, once the restrictions might 
might uh, might 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 not be as severe, but I I can't see anything happening at the moment anyway. But she definitely gives you regards, and I'll tell her you were asking for her. Thank you very much indeed. I hope you see that now, because um, I have no control of the camera from the side. I just hope you see. Thank you very much indeed. Bye bye.